Hey guys, this is Penny Henry from Create for Christ Designs. I am so excited for this video today because my iPad came. Yay! I'm so, isn't that pretty? That's so pretty! Anyway, I'm so excited. Um, it's supposed to be, you know, I know y'all like unboxings or whatever, but y'all know me and you know I cannot open boxes and I fumble and I break things and I break my nails. Oh golly, I had one bend completely backwards. I'm finally starting to get some nails and I had it bend completely backwards. I was cleaning out my closet and when I went to put the hangers back on top of, you know, back in the closet, it caught on the, between the rod and the hanger and went backwards. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> That hurt so bad, and I still have a mark from where it bent backwards. So, yeah, I don't do stuff like that. I have to open them first. If I didn't, it would take me an hour for the video because <laughs> I fumble and fumble and yeah. And that's not a word, and I'm an English teacher. Or major, I'm not a teacher anymore, but I, I was an English major. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So, but I am so excited to show this to y'all. I tried to do it on my phone, but I couldn't, you couldn't see anything. So, we're going to do it this way. So, here's the box. It's a really neat box. And since I tried to do it on my phone, the inside's already open. See, I told you I can't even open the box. Okay, there we go. Okay, first of all, I already took this part off. And I don't do it slow like all the fancy, fancy, fancy uh, reviewers do anyway. So, here it is. Now, first of all, I have to ask you guys. You know me. So, you know what color I got. So, tell me what you think. What color do you think I got? Yep. Pink. I was so excited that I was able to get pink. Isn't that so pretty? Y'all know me. I have to get my pink and my blues. And Anyway, you see how skinny it is? I love that it's so skinny and so lightweight. So, I don't dump it on the floor. This iPad Pro is... Sorry, I didn't mean to bounce it. But it's so heavy, I drop it, and I keep dropping it against my guitar, and I'm scared to death I'm going to bust my guitar, because it keeps banging into my guitar. Um, and my guitar is so pretty, and I don't want to break it. Um, anyway, but yeah, and I keep going through chargers, because when I drop it, the charger breaks. So, anyway, yeah, we're going to try not to drop this one. And it's so much lighter, so much smaller, so, so much easier for me to be able to draw on, you know. And that's what I wanted it for, was for my drawing and stuff. And so, I've been wanting one. Um, it is an M1, and I purposely got a downgrade. Well, they say downgrade. Because, like I said, I wanted a smaller iPad. And I couldn't really afford an iPad Pro this time. So, another iPad Pro. So, um, anyway, I'm super excited about it. It has, I think it said a 12 mix, megapixel uh, camera. It has center stage. When I was reading about that, I thought that was so cool. Especially with my, um, with my uh, videos and stuff. It keeps me in the middle. And... Y'all know me. I'm sitting here trying to stare over there because I can't tell where I'm looking at. Um, so, anyway, yeah. So, I was excited when I found out about that. It has touch. Um, let's see. Where is it at? Okay, it's up here. It has touch uh, recognition. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like it yet or not. I liked facial rec recognition. Um, and people laughed at me when I said, wait a minute. I've got the same face. But I hated where you touch the um, the home button and, um, you know, it recognized your finger or whatever. I never used it because 
it never recognized my finger. And I would get so frustrated because I'm like, I have the same finger people. Um, at least with face, face recognition, it, you know, recognized my face most of the time. So anyway, um, yeah, I hated that one. So I'm hoping this one, they say you just put your finger on top of the on off key uh, button. And so that should be, you know, fairly easy. And that sounds like it would be very easy for me. And uh, anyway, super excited to get started on it. Um, that's your iPad. You've got your, um, your little card here that uh, has all your information, all your um, directions and everything and I'll be honest with you I probably won't use it I've had enough iPads and stuff I know how to set it up and I uh, have a tip I guess I always 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 when I get something expensive like this I take the receipt and I put it inside the directions inside the uh you know, you always get an instruction manual or whatever. I either staple it to the inside or I put it in, if it's iPad, you know, they have these little pocket things. So I always put it inside there. That way, if I have something come up, I've got that box. I can go in there. There's my receipt and I can get whatever I need done. So yeah, that is a tip that, yeah, for sure, keep your receipt with your guidebook. Or with your box at least. We got this, uh, you know, charging block. I won't use that either because I have the USB ports on my uh, lamps and everything. And I have a fast charger behind my chair and all that. So, yeah, I won't use the box probably. Here's your charger. I normally do use my charger. But this one is USB to USB-C. I mean USB-C to USB-C. And... My uh, lamp one and my fast charger is USB-C to or US micro USB or any of them. To but the part that goes into the fast charger and to the fast charger on my lamp is USB-A. So yeah, either I'm gonna have to get a um, adapter and an adapter. Or I'm going to have to use a different charger. But I just ordered a bunch of chargers. So that will be fine. USB-C chargers. So anyway, I can't wait to get started setting it up. Um, oh gosh, guys. I found this app. Um, I was just sitting here uh, drawing or working on one of my... Um, uh, you know, planners or something, and <clears throat> I had YouTube on in the background, I think it was Brad Colbo, I can't be for sure on that one, because you know how it comes, you know, it keeps going to the next video, next video, and um, he popped up and was talking, and I heard him talking about this program, so I clicked over to it, and oh, I love this program, Notion, because I can... <clears throat> and I'm going to review this once I figure it out. I've been, um, you know, binge watching how to how to use it and stuff. Because y'all know me and my planning. Um, I like having pretty and I like having functional. And so you can bring in, you can link to other programs. So I'm like, you know, when I'm going through my calendar for the, or my schedule for the day, I can have it just, I can click on it and it'll take me over to if I'm working on Momentum or over to my Procreate if I'm working on a Chibi or or another new program is Clip Studio, which somebody was, I'm pretty sure that was Brad Colbo. Anyway, one of them. Um, uh, I'm, you know, it'll take me over to it. So I can just click on it and go to where, you know, get started on what I had to do for today. So I am so excited and I can put in my own, 
you know, y'all know me, I like to use my own stuff. So I can put on my own created icons or my own created cover page pictures or, um, you know, I just, I love it. And I'm seeing other people doing different things because uh, I've even been looking at some of them today. Um, <clears throat> how they set it up. And, you know, I can't wait to put my Bible studies on there and just everything. I'm still going to have my planners that I made and my ESV um, or my digital Bible and stuff like that. Again, I can click on it and go directly to it. Or I think I can even embed it into Notion, which I don't want to do that. I just want to be able to click on it and go to it and work on it. So, um, oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. And on this M1, it should go a lot faster because I was getting frustrated trying to get it to set up the uh, daily schedule because I tried to delete something and it would take all day to try to, you know, several minutes to try to delete it when, you know, uh, because of uh, my... Uh, computer being so slow. Anyway, let's get back to the, um, the toys I bought. So I bought, <coughs> I bought a pencil cover for my, um, Apple pencil because they tell me it's going to make it a lot easier for my arthritic hands to, um, to work with it. And it, it also keeps them, it's thin enough, it keeps the magnetic, so I can keep it on when I put it up here to, um, to charge or whatever. Um, anyway, uh, it looks like it's going to be fairly easy to go on. Uh, yeah, so much easier than some of them I've bought in the past that I just, it was so hard to put it on, I just gave up and threw it away. So this one is so much easier. Uh, of course, right now, it's not going to work for me because I just got through telling y'all it was so easy. Anyway, I will do it after a while because I got other stuff to show you. But I have to show you this. Isn't that cute? Anyway, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I got that. And... My pencil is as old as my iPad Pro, so the tips are starting to wear out. So I bought me another pack of tips, and they're pink. Cute, cute. Um, I didn't want to get a pink cover, because then you wouldn't be able to see the pretty pink, you know. So I got a white one with pink. So yeah, that worked. Um, keyboard. External keyboard. It's a Bluetooth. Um, so that I can... You know, when I'm doing my writing and stuff, I'm typing a lot. Which I do still have my laptop. It's slow, too. I need to work on getting me another laptop next. Um, but if I need to type something, like when I was setting up the digital um, planners, uh, you know, I need to type a lot. And so, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier than typing on the screen to me. So, yeah, I got a keyboard. I got, I'll do this one last, because I'm dropping things. All right, I got a paper-like screen protector, because it helps to write easier, write neater. It is called a paper feel, not a paper-like. Paper-like is a lot more expensive, and I got a paper feel last time for my iPad Pro, and it has lasted the whole time, you know, so I... I love it, and so, yeah, and it's easier to put on as far as I can tell, so, um, anyway, yeah, so, I'm gonna link everything below, so you'll be able to, to get prices and stuff, sorry, my hair's so long and thick, and, of course, I got a folio, um, to keep it in, because, yeah, I break things, if I don't, so, you see how pretty that is, oh, got my pink and my blue and it's marbly and I may not even bling this one up. <gasps> Can you believe it? Nah, I'll probably put something on it. Y'all know me. I gotta have something blingy on it. And the back is clear 
which I like, because why have a pink iPad if you're not going to be able to see it? So, anyway, you'll be able to see it through the back. So, I like that for my folio. And the last thing I bought was, I don't want to lose this here. Sorry, I put everything in a box here. Um, I bought a case, accessory case. Um, sorry, hold on. Um, ouch. That I can put my folio in. I'll show you with my iPad, so I don't have to take my iPad out of my folio to put it in here to take it with me somewhere. And then come home and take it out of my folio. And, you know, that's a big mess. So, look at that. I can put my, keep it in my folio and put it inside here. And I love that. So, again, I always check reviews and how people, you know, like things. Now, the one thing I was not happy with because I thought it opened up to where I had a place for my jump drives and all that stuff, and it doesn't, uh, but I do have a place, there's a pocket here, that I can put my keyboard, and then I'm going to sew a little right here, I'm going to sew like a place where I can put my jump drives, and then I'm going to put my... Um, my heart my external hard drive in here um and you know and the cords and that kind of stuff uh, extra charger maybe my earbuds uh echo buds um i don't like apple i i don't like apple pods whatever they're called i don't like them um they don't sit in my ears right and so yeah i uh, that's another one uh, I had to I mean I have gotten so many sets of earbuds because I can't find the one that sits in my ears right and I have to send them back the echo buds sit in my ear, ears right they connect really easy and you can use them like a, a Amazon Echo I think Amazon is the one that has the Echo anyway um, so I can, if I want to, I can say call so-and-so or the same way you would use the, the little Alexa. Is it Alexa? I don't know. Anyway, same way you would use those. I can just tell it, you know, if I want to, but I don't do that too much. <laughs> so anyway, um, last thing. I, like I said, I told you I was cleaning out my closets and stuff, and I had a denim jacket. It doesn't fit me anymore. Y'all know me. I bling everything up, so I have put patches on it, <clears throat> on the back of it, and I have to bling this up, so I pulled the patches off of it, went on YouTube, I love YouTube, um, that found out how to take it off without tearing it up. Um, I still can't use it as a iron-on patch anymore, but that's okay, too. So, I kept this off of it, Forever Blessed and Loved, that's going to go on here. And I will, I'll, like, uh, do, like, a short or something so y'all can see what it looks like once I get it all blinged up. And then I took the penny off, because I had penny on my, uh, um... I see there's the E. I can't hold the N and the N and the Y, but y'all get the picture. Um, anyway, um, I think I'm going to use uh, either super glue or, um, oh, what is it called um, that I use with cloth? Uh, I think it's Aline's All Purpose. I don't know, but a lot of times that doesn't stay, and I want it to stay, so I might use super glue and just put it on there with super glue, um, but 
anyway or or maybe even uh, my e6000 that might work i don't know but i want it to to actually stick and stay so i'm going to put that on here and i'll do like a short or something so y'all can see what it looks like when i'm done but um yeah we're going on um vacation uh for mother's day i'm finally going to get go up to see my son in Georgia, <clears throat> so um, oh, the top I lost the top to this. Did y'all see where I put it? No, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, I'm gonna finally get to go see him, so I will have a way to carry my accessories and my computer and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. And uh, the reason I haven't been well, first, let me go ahead and tell you guys. The reason I haven't been on here with my Today's Chibi, I have not stopped doing those. I had a killer migraine for a week or two. Um, and Nikki can attest, my friend Nikki can attest that, you know, because we talk on Marco Polo in the mornings. And, um, you know, she, she saw my eyes and she saw how bad I looked. And, uh... Yeah, because I don't sleep at night too much. So, yeah, I just was uh, bad. And that's why I'm so hyper because I don't sleep at night. And I've been sleep drunk, period. Um, I actually had a doctor tell me that really is called sleep drunk. Um, but, you know, when you get four hours sleep, two hours sleep oh we we had uh tornado warnings uh two weeks in a row and i finally get to sleep at about one two o'clock in the morning finally doze off three o'clock in the morning screaming the uh tornado warning and the first time i'm just like you know is it is it us, Danny? And because he was up for, you know, he's already starting to get up for work. And I'm like, he says, I'm going to the living room to see, you know, what's on the news or whatever. I says, tell me if it's if it hits us. You know, I just want to go back to sleep. You know, and then I doze off, and then it goes off again. You know, get in your safe places. There's a tornado on the ground in Chipley. Da 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 da. -ho. And then this last time, Danny will not let me live it down because I was so out of it, so exhausted. And our weather guy's name is Ross Whitley. And I could not, you know how if, if somebody is drunk, they're talking out their, I know daddy talked crazy when he would get drunk. Um, they can't, they slur their words and stuff. So, <laughs> I was sitting there going, Ron Wesley or whatever. So, you know, I don't like Ron Wesley. And <laughs> so, he just, he really won't let me live that down. He says he's going to text Ron with Rob, no, Ross Whitley <laughs> and tell him, that yeah I messed up his name and I still mess up his name <laughs> and I'm not well I am still sleep drunk um I wish I could take naps in the daytime but I can't I, if I do you know I'm totally 100% so exhausted I can't hold my head up or I'm so sick I can't hold my head up then I, I will I will pass out I will crash uh or if I have COVID I slept I think yeah, I slept days. Like, I would wake up long enough to be sick and go back to sleep. And so, I'm pretty sure I had COVID. Never got tested, but Danny had an outbreak at his office, and that's the symptoms they had. So, if that's all I'm going to go through, I'm so glad it's over. Because with my rods in my back, it kills me to be sick. Oh, it kills me. It feels like my, my rods are ripping out of my chest. So, you know, I just pray really hard. Please, God, don't let me get this. Please don't let me get this. 
So if that's all I had and it's done, you know, and I've had all my shots and my boosters and, uh, you know, I, I am hearing we're going to have to have another booster, but yeah, so, and I hear, and my son gets my, the same migraines I do, probably worse because he had a TBI from being in Afghanistan and he got COVID and he said it attacked his headaches and he said they were the most horrendous migraines. And so I'm like, Lord, please don't let me get it. Because I have the migraines and I have the asthma and I have the, um, you know, diabetes and I have the, uh, you know, different stuff. But the worst, I would say, is getting sick. I, mm -mm. I mean, I can't stand not being able to breathe and not being able to swallow and all this stuff. But... <sighs> When I get sick, it kills me, so y'all pray I don't get COVID. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so yeah, I slept then, and that's, that, you knew I was sick because I slept. I didn't have the fever and all that stuff, but I slept for days. So I figure one of these times I'm going to crash and just sleep forever. I won't sleep for a long time because Danny insists I have to wake up when he wakes up. So... Especially on the weekend. Drives me crazy. But anyway. So. Um, the other thing. Is. Uh, I'm getting my ladies layer. I think I've told you guys about this in the past. But the chase is on its way. The table's on. The table is here. And the lamp is here. And I already have a desk. And my uh, shelves and all that. Um, I've got it. Of course I drew it out. Um, I'm going to have a, my, a writing area with my writing desk and my, um, writing books, all my writing books and stuff. And then I'm going to have my art desk and all that stuff. Um, he's going to take the closet and he's going to put, uh, shelves on either side. As you open the door, there's going to be shelves on either side because I'm not going to have clothes in there. And, um, he said, it'll be where I can just walk in and turn to the side and get what I want. So I'm like, okay, awesome. And it's going to be open on the inside. So y'all know with my rods and stuff, I can't bend. So I can roll my chair or even just go in there and stand if there's a tornado warning. So my own little storm shelter or whatever. So I'm excited about that too. I can go in there and read with my, you know, my chase. I'm going to have my guitar and my keyboard set up in there. Um, just, I, I'm super excited to get it all set up. So, that's another thing I've been working on is getting that done. So, <coughs> anyway, but um, I'm going to be back to my today's chibi. Hopefully, tomorrow. Not today. I'm going to play with my iPad and stuff today. But, uh. Probably tomorrow. Um, anyway, uh, if my headaches don't come back, please know. Today, so far, it's been okay. I think the fires we had down here probably exacerbated it. I'm not sure, but, you know, the bad weather, and it doesn't play nice with my back. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to be back with the Today's Chibi I'm going to get the momentum week two. I'm probably going to do that today before I start playing. Um, and get that done. Get this posted. Um, and work on my notion. Uh, and get that all set up. I've got it. I've got pages in my planning book. Because uh, <coughs> I have a special type of. Uh, as soon as I found these. They're perfect for like with my writing and stuff. Because you can. You've got your project section here, and then you have your margins here where you can take notes and stuff. I have pages in here on how to use Notion and how I want to set it up and stuff. So, I'm going to be playing with that, too. But I'm going to review Notion. I'm going to... This is my plans. I'm going to review Notion once I figure it out. I'm going to re review the new Clip Studio. I don't know. It might not be new, but it's new to me. Um... And uh, it has a lot of stuff that's specific to 
the chibi and manga and anime and all that stuff. So um, <clears throat> I'm excited to use that and get it set up. Um, so I'm going to do a review on that as well. I'm going to probably review this iPad uh, Air. You know, is it as good as my iPad Pro? That kind of stuff. Um, anyway. Yeah, and of course my prayerful planner, you know, at the beginning of the month and my momentum each week uh, will still be going. And uh, I want to get back to doing my uh, Bible devotions, but I want them to be my devotions. Not having to worry about copyrights and stuff like that. Anyway. Oh, and I wrote a, a poem the other day I was going to share with you guys, but just not right now. Because uh, I'm losing my voice. So, that is it. And I hope you guys will give me a thumbs up. I hope you will comment. Subscribe to my channel. Push that button to be notified. Whoops. When I do another video for you guys. Um, and share with your friends. Um, especially if they like things like uh, chibis and uh, Bible studies. All right? And, and crafts eventually. <laughs> Once I get in my craft room and get everything set up. Crafts. So, anyway. Love you guys so much. And I will see you again really soon. Love y'all. Bye.